Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday, April 9th. So 9th is 9th. So April 9th. And tomorrow is Good Friday. So we won't have a video tomorrow because we wouldn't have school tomorrow if we were in our classroom. So I want to talk about two parts of the ocean before we start talking about what lives in the different zones of the ocean. So first let's talk about where is the hottest part, where is the coldest part? Because some of the animals aren't gonna live in the hottest part that would live in the coldest part. Some of those animals that live in the coldest part wouldn't live in the hottest part. So what might live in the hottest part, like some fish and maybe something else like the worm wouldn't live in the cold, like maybe like a narwhal. And so we'll look at that because the hottest part of the ocean is the Persian Gulf. And so that's going to be on the other side of the world from us. And they say it just kind of feels like bath water. It's just really, really warm. And you know, the waves are really nice. And it's just really relaxing, warm part of the ocean. Where the Arctic Ocean is the coldest part. And since it's the coldest part, that's going to have the animals that like the coldest parts of the water. Like our narwhals and like penguins and polar bear, like the things that like cold water are going to be there. And so we'll talk a little bit about both. So not only will we talk about zones of the ocean, but we'll also talk about what lives in warm and cold water. So I can't wait to talk about that next week. Okay. So I mentioned that tomorrow is Good Friday. So we call it Good Friday, but that's the day that Jesus died on the cross for us because he loves us. So tomorrow, Tomorrow, when we talk about, oh, it's Good Friday, keep in mind what happens on Good Friday, and then remember what happens in three days. So we'll start counting down, and we'll be really excited, because guess what's happening? So keep that in mind, and I will see y'all after Easter, and let me know all the great things that are happening. All right, let's remember our why real quick. <clears throat> we need three lines. We need a line down, a line up, and we give them a tail. Okay, so our three sticks, and then we have our number 18. Line down, and you build your snowman eight. So the one and an eight together is 18. We're gonna build it with our sticks real quick. We put them together and make a V, and then we give them a tail. There's our Y. All right, guys, I will see you after Easter, and I cannot wait to hear about your Easter egg hunts and all the great things that have happened. All right, have a fantastic time. Bye, guys. Love you.